Electric eels have fascinated scientists and the public for hundreds of years. Even Charles Darwin was puzzled by them. So what is the shocking secret behind an electric eel's weapon? Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Electric eels are some of the most shocking, okay, sorry, I had to do that once more, organisms on this planet. They can harness the power of electricity to hunt. But electric eels aren't really eels at all. They're actually a type of knife fish found in the Amazon River Basin in South America. They're just one type of dozens of fish that use electrical fields as sort of an extra sensory perception, but they're the only ones with a charge strong enough to kill. Basically, electric eels and other fish have modified muscle cells that stack on top of each other. They work kind of like batteries. Okay, when I say kind of, I mean Alessandra Volta actually modeled batteries after electric eels. Typically, an eel can have as many as 6,000 of these cells called electrocytes. These stacks of cells are negatively charged inside and their outsides are positively charged. Each cell has the potential of 0.08 volts. Not a lot, I know. And considering the charges alternate, no current actually flows. But as soon as the eel is triggered by spotting a potential prey, these cells open up and an influx of sodium ions changes the polarity. So now the stacks have a positive and negative end, which creates an electric current. With all the cells stacked together in some species of fish, the charge can reach as many as 600 volts of electricity. While that might sound like a whole lot, it's not enough to kill a man because the shocks are delivered very quickly in a matter of milliseconds. But it's certainly enough electricity to shock a small fish. But the coolest thing about electric eels' special shocking power is that it's not just for killing prey. Their shocks have a kind of stealth mode. They have a low voltage version that helps them hunt. These electric shocks act an awful lot like sonar that bats use. They can send them out as feelers, sensing if any fish are lurking nearby. But even their big shocks have a dual function. One study published in the journal Nature Communication found it's also used for hunting. The lead author of the study told National Geographic that the eel can use its electric attack simultaneously as a weapon and a sensory system. It's sort of a science fiction like ability. Once they hone in on a prey, they have a remote control mode. They send out two closely spaced high voltage discharges called doublets, which makes the prey's body contract involuntarily. This movement sends ripples through the water. It lets the eel know if it's an alive thing and that it's possibly prey. It can even make the fish freeze. It shocks their neurological system so the fish can't even move. While ideal for catching smaller prey, sometimes the shock isn't enough for catching larger fish, so an eel has to amp up their power. A recent study published in the journal Current Biology, <laughs> aptly named, found that eels use their electric zap by curling into a circle. This brings the positively charged end of their body, their head, and the negatively charged tail area closer together. By bringing the two points closer together, the fish can double their shock. While their shock isn't enough to kill a person, it's still pretty painful. Those who've experienced it say it's a lot like running into an electric fence. So I wouldn't exactly try fishing for one anytime soon. As close as I'd like to get is probably Twitter. Miguel Watson is an electric eel at the Tennessee Aquarium, and it sends a tweet whenever he sends out a zap. Check him out at Electric Miguel.